What happens if you hold in a sneeze? Holding in a sneeze sounds polite, but it's also a great way to accidentally rupture your own throat. Seriously, there are real medical reports of people tearing soft tissue in their necks or even bursting an eardrum just trying to keep things quiet. A sneeze can shoot out at over 100 miles per hour, and trying to stop it is like putting your hand over a fire hose and expecting a gentle mist. Best case, it just hurts. Worst case, you end up in the ER explaining how your politeness tried to assassinate you. What happens if you swallow gum every day? Despite what every school lunchroom myth said, gum doesn't just live in your stomach for seven years like a weird chewy parasite. It actually passes through your digestive system like a bored tourist. Undigested, but harmless. However, if you swallow it every day like some kind of minty habit, you could end up with a bezoar, which sounds like a Harry Potter spell, but is actually a horrifying gum and hairball situation that can block your intestines. So maybe just spit it out like a normal person. What happens if you stop eating vegetables entirely? Cutting out vegetables seems like a dream diet until your body starts asking, hey, where's all the stuff that keeps me alive? No fiber means constipation. No vitamins means you might get scurvy, which is not just for pirates, by the way. Your immune system drops, your skin goes dull, your mood swings in weird directions, and your gut bacteria basically go on strike. You'll survive without veggies, sure, but it'll be a very cranky, vitamin-deficient kind of surviving. What happens if you stop blinking? Blinking is your eye's built-in windshield wiper system. Try not blinking, and you're signing up for eye dryness, blurred vision, and a lot of pain. Past a certain point, your brain will just force you to blink through reflexes or microsleeps. But if you somehow override that, like people with certain nerve disorders or intense staring contests, your cornea starts to dry out and get damaged. There are actual cases of eye injuries and ulcers from blinking too little. So yeah, blink. It's free. What happens if you live in total darkness? Spend enough time in total darkness, and your brain starts making up its own entertainment. Your circadian rhythm drifts, so day and night become meaningless. People start sleeping in weird 36-hour loops. After a few days, some folks hallucinate just to fill the visual silence. In one study, a guy lasted 60 days in a dark cave and completely lost track of time. When they pulled him out, he thought it had been 30 days. Basically, without sunlight, your brain forgets how to calendar. What happens if you don't sleep for 11 days? This actually happened. In 1964, 17-year-old Randy Gardner stayed awake for 11 days for a science fair project. Of his scientific trio, Randy lost the coin toss. He would be the test subject who would deprive himself of sleep. His two friends would take turns monitoring his mental and physical reaction times, as well as making sure Gardner didn't fall asleep. By day two, he was forgetting things. By day four, he was hallucinating. By the end, he couldn't even identify objects by touch. He did recover, but modern studies say pushing that long is a terrible idea. 